Hello and welcome back to Nether Survival, where in this episode, as you can see, things are looking a little bit different. And that is because I have installed CUDA shaders, and I must say this looks pretty amazing down here. Especially with the light and the lava and like the... Yeah, the entire atmosphere here is just amazing with shaders. I absolutely love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't know if we're gonna run the series with shaders all the time. I don't think so. But let me know what you think down below in the comments of the shaders. Does it look cool? Or do you prefer the regular Minecraft look? But I think we will be rocking it just for today because I think it really, really looks good. But anyways, uh, we have a few things to do today. Uh, smaller things. Um, one, uh, wh where, where do I even start? Oh yes, one. Uh, we're gonna be changing the floor, the ceiling and the wall today real quick. That shouldn't take too long. And then, um, I don't know why it didn't work last time. But I managed to place the I managed to place that fun guy down there under it nilium. I'm sure I tried that last time and it did not work. It, maybe it was just me. But um it does work. Now if you don't know what this does, it basically uh it scares away hotlins and I really want to scare them away from this general area. <laughs> around um, my fence here so I'm gonna snag this one up and we I have like 11 more upstairs so we're gonna take a bunch of these and just place them and create a little bit of a perimeter and scare away the hucklins essentially um, though we will also be making some campfires to scare away the piglins because I don't want them near me either because you never know if my gold armor die decides to die or something I don't want that to happen uh, these can actually also be placed on, uh, let's disable that. These can actually also be placed on, um, soul, what's it called? Soul path? Not soul, no, definitely not soul path. Um, soul soil, basically. Um, they can be placed on that, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, that's right, you don't like that, do you? Run away! Yes, this, this is really cool. Uh, one here, right here. Another one over here. Yeah, that's right. You don't like this, do you? This is this is a good feeling. <laughs> there we go. That should make a pretty good perimeter until I get some more. Um, yeah, that's nice. Also, Bob got a little bit of an upgrade because a lot of you have been telling me, and I discovered as well, that in the next version, 1.16.2, you are now able to make brewing stands with Blackstone, which is amazing. I really wanted that. Um, also, you will no longer get fire resistance potions from piglins, you will actually get um, water bottles. Which means we can now do potion making down here in the nether. So I removed the brewing stand and also the need for water. Um, so far I have not seen that they have made it so that you can make a, um, what's it called? A, a grindstone with a black stone, so we still need a stone slab to be able to do that. But other than that, I removed the other ones. I've left the Lapis Lazuli here and the Redstone and of course the paper so we can still enchant. Um, also, I forgot the, the unknown secret down here. I forgot to add that. But uh, yes, that, that is a thing. An unknown secret. This is why we need to change the flooring. Um, this is bad. Ow. Yeah, this is bad. I don't... Ow. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know why they're all attracted to this one place, but this is especially an issue if I die and respawn at my respawn anchor. Just as I said it. Just as I were to say it, right? Just as I said it. Where did I die? Give me my stuff. Okay, get get the armor on. Get the armor on. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Buddy, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm your buddy. Well, I'm not, but okay. Yeah, we need to uh, we need to spawn proof our place for those guys today. Um, or well, try anyway. I'm going to try, <laughs> and I'm gonna hope it works. I don't know if it will, but I guess we'll, we're gonna find out. Um, I don't know why they are not. Oh wait, lost my axe apparently. Okay. 
I guess I'll just use my sword. Yeah. This might take a little bit to clear these guys. Uh, I think there's like a sweet spot where you can check. There we go. Eh. Eh. Come on. Okay, I guess I'm using the pickaxe now. Definitely not the best weapon. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we got some food from that. At least that's good. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna change these floors today, and I think we're gonna do it right now, because I'm not happy with this. Now I need uh, to make new tools, and okay, I'm gonna be right back. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, I'm geared up again, and we're going to use nine of our iron nuggets, because we are going to be making a shield. That is going to prove very, very useful, both against Huglins, but also against Blazes, once we get to that point. Alright, now to the flooring. And I made a little bit of a decision, and that is that I didn't really use a whole lot of Nether Quartz in Season 1. And I, I, I really want to. I want to use Nether Quartz this season to do stuff. Um, so we will be doing that. We will be using nether quartz. Uh, I think for the flooring actually. And I think I'm just gonna make the flooring very simple. I think uh, to prevent spawns in here, I'm pretty sure the only reason that mobs spawn here is because of this right here. And maybe these. I don't know if they spawn on these. They might. Maybe the room light too. I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna try a few things here and we're gonna hope that it works. But yeah, I have not used a whole lot of quartz in my uh, in my build, so hopefully I'm going to use more quartz this this uh, this time around. Uh, do that and get a few slabs to just place not there. But yeah, I think I think I have a design for the floor. I think uh, I'm thinking just to save on the quartz. I'm thinking maybe wood stairs here and then slabs. It's gonna look a little bit weird having all these things up, um, but hopefully it won't look too weird. If not, I guess I guess we'll just lower them. I mean, we might lower them to be honest with you, but I don't know yet. Yeah, this is gonna look stupid. Like this is essentially how it's gonna be. I don't know how much of a fan I am at that. But let's just do it, and because we need the floor anyway, so yeah, we need the floor anyway, so we might as well do it, and then we can always lower the stuff after. But yeah, I'm placing these stairs here just to give it a little bit more, I guess, smoothness in depth, <laughs> if that's a thing. Um, and then putting, we're gonna put slabs here uh, on the floor, and of course we need this right here to make it look good north and yeah then we just need quartz slabs I, I do not have enough I have enough for six and that's it so I need to go and mine some quartz but I'm thinking something like this and actually I think we're turning these into stairs because whoops <laughs> Uh, that that is one of the annoying things by having an axe and using it constantly and using it as a weapon. That happens a lot. Okay, that happens a lot. All right, gonna place stairs here. Gonna place these. Uh, that's not how I wanted it. Gonna place these. Yes, perfect. And that. Nice. And then we just maybe this should be quartz stairs. I might change that later. Also, it's annoying how you get an uneven amount of these. It's so annoying. Um, but anyways, I need a little bit more quartz. So let me go and well, empty my inventory first. I all, I already need more wood. I was just out collecting like 40 uh, of these crimson stems, and it's already not enough. But yes, I'm gonna go out and get some quartz, and I'll be right back. All right, I have gathered some quartz. Actually, there's more here that I overlooked. But my pickaxe broke, and I'm just gonna hope that this is enough. I, I refuse to make a fourth crafting table, because uh, I already have three. And I really should start with 
having one on me so i think i'm just going to take this one out and put it right there in the inventory also i think we are making these into uh into quartz stairs i think that will look better uh so we're gonna make a few stairs here and then that and hope this is enough yeah that looks a lot better i think we might need to change these as well in the future uh Da, 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 da. I need, I think, two more slab craftings. <laughs> yep, I need one more. But then we have our new floor. And to be honest with you, this isn't too bad. Because it would have been... Uh, I need a new pickaxe. It would have been bad if we didn't have the slabs. But because we have the slabs... This would have been dumb. I, like, I don't like this. This, though... I like how this looks. Also, that is right, we need to replenish that. I don't have any more glowstone. Um, but yeah, I think these needs to che- Actually, I think I like it like this. I honestly think I like it like this. Uh, let me put this away over here. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think I like it like this, actually. A lot. I think I like it a lot like this. I think that is going to work for now. Now for the ceiling. Uh, hmm. I think I have an idea for the ceiling as well, actually. Yeah, I think. I don't know how it's gonna look. But I think I have an idea. I really like that. I really like that a lot, actually. I'm really happy with that. Um, I have an idea, and that means we need to go out and get some warped wood, because I'm thinking of using warped wood um, trap doors as kind of like, I don't know what to call it, a window hatch cover thing. Also for the, you'll see what I mean. Wood acquired. All right, make the wood planks, and we're gonna make a bunch of these. And I'm thinking, ooh, ooh, I think I like that. Yeah, I think I like that a lot. Also like that. I think that looks okay, actually. It does not decrease the amount of light they give. We could do it on those as well, but. I think they are good as they are. Yeah, I think I like this actually, especially in here. This looks really, really homey. I like it. I feel at home. <laughs> I like it. Um, one more thing. Oh yeah. Uh, how does this? Yeah. How does this look? Because I'm thinking maybe we will need eventually some form, at least a little bit of protection. In case of, as some of you said, um, I think it was more than one, that said uh, in case a guest comes in and decides to do a shoot. Uh, let's see how it looks. I don't know how it's going to look. <laughs> and like so. I mean, I guess that's... I guess that's okay. I don't know if I like it from the outside though. They might need to be in the opposite order. Hmm. I mean, then from the outside, this looks good. And then from the inside, that looks meh. I guess this just needs some sort of decoration around it, maybe. Maybe some fence here. Get rid of this, of course. Maybe some fence here. And. Maybe some stairs over there or something? I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to get back to this after doing a little bit of design thinking. Uh, I think it's gonna look good that way if we just do some decoration around it. So now we definitely have the trap doors for it. Also, how would this look? 
Not that way, but the other way. Hmm. Alright, I think that I'm gonna call it that with the base for now. Uh, we're not quite done though, because I do want to make a few campfires. Uh, because we do have soul sand. How many can we make? We can make four. Alright, four it is. Um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I know how to make these. I should anyway. Like so. Boom, boom, boom. Cool, so these will scare away piglins, essentially. So, maybe if we put one out here somewhere, like here. And another one over here. I don't know, Th this is kind of just, I guess, gonna make things look cool. I was also thinking of putting something up there, but I want soul torches on, uh, on this thing. Um, also... As I forgot, uh, we should definitely have one out here for our own food. Because as some of you said, or at least one, <laughs> uh, this doesn't take any fuel. So that is definitely something we should have out here. Maybe we should have two. I don't know. Let me know if you think we should have two. Uh, I feel like putting one more somewhere. I guess we'll put two. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> All right, and with that, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. I know it is short, it is shorter than usual, and I'm sorry, but I'm kind of out of time for today. <laughs> I just wanted to make this, and I think I think this is good progress right here. I think this is pretty good progress, and I'm really happy how the ceiling turned out, and, well, I'm very happy that we have the fungus down there and the, uh, the campfires here. Now we can actually cook food. Speaking of which, I have some in here. Boom, 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 and boom, boom, boom. Now we can cook food without having to use fuel, which is a really good point. Um, now, for the next episode, just to get things hyped up a bit, I know the location of a Bastion Remnant. So I think that is up for next episode. A Bastion Remnant, let's see what's over there in the next episode. But anyways, also, um, I, want, I want soul torches. I, I need a soul sand valley. Okay, we need to find that. That must be another. That must be another objective, um, if we have time for it. But anyways, that is going to be it for this one. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and goodbye. Yeah.